Remember that each time Israel hears a foreign leader speak of its right to defend itself, it is further emboldened to continue murdering entire families in their sleep. Israel is killing Palestinians in Gaza, one family at a time. Israel is trying to uproot Palestinians from Jerusalem, expelling families, one home, one neighborhood at a time. Israel is persecuting our people, committing war crimes and crimes against humanity. Some may not want to use these words, war crimes and crimes against humanity, but they know they are true. Israel is unapologetic and relentless in pursuing its colonial policies. As the Palestinian people mark the 73rd anniversary of the Nakba, the catastrophe, Israel pursues the same policies of disposition, forced displacement, discrimination, and denial of Palestinian rights. Israel may believe it is winning, but it is nowhere closer to defeating the Palestinian people. Our people will never surrender or forego their rights. Palestinian freedom is the only path to peace. Since peace is the responsibility of this council, your council, helping achieve Palestinian freedom is its legal and moral duty. This is not the first time that Hamas has indiscriminately fired deadly missiles at Israeli civilians while hiding behind Palestinian civilians. But this time, it's different. It was completely premeditated by Hamas in order to gain political power. It was all a part of their vicious plan. While Hamas seeks the destruction of the state of Israel, it's also vying to take power in the West Bank and to replace the Palestinian Authority. You have two choices. You can create false moral equivalence, immoral equivalence, between the actions of a democracy that sanctifies life and those of terrorist organization that glorifies death by calling for restraint, restraint on all sides and failing to unequivocally condemn Hamas. If you make this choice, it will lead to the success of Hamas's insidious strategy of firing at Israeli civilians while hiding behind Palestinian civilians. It will lead to the deaths of more innocent Israelis and Palestinians. It will lead to the strengthening of Hamas, the weakening of the Palestinian Authority, and the undermining of the chances for a dialogue. If you choose to avoid condemning Hamas, it will strengthen the radical terror group which aims to overthrow the Palestinian Authority and whose charter explicitly calls for wiping Israel off the map. It will continue the cycle of violence and undermine the chances for peace. But today, you can choose a different path. You can unequivocally condemn Hamas's indiscriminate and unprovoked attacks which threaten Israelis and Palestinians alike. 